Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna pick up where the last video left off and replace some of the seals and all of the solenoids inside this 545i's transmission. We'll also be replacing a few seals on the back of the engine. So without wasting any more time, let's get to work. All right, so I'm gonna start by removing all of the pan bolts. So here are some of the solenoids that I was talking about. I will be replacing these. So if you look, you can kind of tell which ones hold the valve body in. To get the sleeve out, the connector sleeve, you have to lift this up. You push on a little tab here lift this up and then this should be able to come out chewed it up a little bit right here now the valve body should come out if i got all the bolts ah here Alright, so the seals we'll be replacing are these four, and this one I had just done, so this one is still good. Alright, I've got my new seals here, all four of them, so now we just need to pull these ones out. Just be careful not to chew up the side of the transmission. And there are two small ones, one medium and one long one. So just make sure you put the right one back in. Same size. Next one. Okay. So that's all of those done. Now on to the solenoids in the valve body. I have to separate the electronic mechanism from the hydraulic valve body, which this schematic shows which ones need to be removed it is a 30. okay so now that we've got this removed we can remove this plate here, the solenoids will pop out and then we'll just replace them one by one to make sure you put the right ones back in the right spot. Blue, yellow, and black, green, yellow, and black. I think that's okay though. All right, now let's do the yellows. And last is the black one. Let's put the plate back. And the spec on that is six Newton meters. So this plunger has to line up 
with this. So a couple of alignment dowels. I just torqued the bolts down that hold the electronic unit to the valve body to six newton meters. So next we're going to be replacing this seal here. I believe there's a special tool for it. I don't have that tool. I will be using a normal seal puller. So you just want to check the surface here to make sure there's no damage. So all this blue stuff here is coolant from the leak on the back side of the engine. So I just want to clean this up. I'm just going to use some parts cleaner and a soft like brass brush. So I've got my new seal here. I'm gonna lube it up with a little bit of this Liquimoly ATF Top Tech 1800. And I don't have the proper tool, but I do have something that is the same diameter. It's metal, so I put a little bit of duct tape on it. You just want to tap all the way around evenly. Until it's all the way seated. Alright, so that's all the way seated. Before we put the valve body back in and put the tranny all back together, I want to just clean up the outside of it a little bit. I've just got a little bit of degreaser, so I'm just going to spray it down, brush it out, and then just wipe everything off with a, with a towel. So let's get into that. Outside of the tranny is all cleaned up. Now I want to clean up the mating surface here for the tranny pan gasket. There's a couple of little scuffs here and there, little nicks. The pan was leaking before, so I just want to make sure it's got a nice, smooth mating surface. So I've got some really fine Scotch Brite, and I'll just use a little bit of parts cleaner on the Scotch Brite. ready to put the mechatronics unit back into the transmission. It says eight newton meters. If you need to pause it, whatever. Just want to make sure the mating surface where these seals in here are clean of any debris. Make sure this clip is lifted out like that. And 
this lever needs to line up with here. So let's get that lined up. So all right, so this sleeve fits into here and it just pushes in and then you push down on this to, to lock it in. So let's get a little tranny fluid on the seals and then we'll pop it in and snap, lock it into place. Let's see. There is a notch on the end of this, which if you look in here, there is a notch on that plug. So just line those up. So now we'll push the clip down and that should be locked in. All right, so we're ready to put the pan back on. I'm just gonna clean the mating surface one more time. And here is our pan and filter. There's an O-ring here, right on the pickup, which goes down inside of this slot here. You wanna lubricate the O-ring with a little tranny fluid. All right. I've got a new set of bolts. I believe these are one time use with the pan. Came the instructions on the torque sequence and it says to tighten them to 10 Newton meters. I wanna put this on the lowest setting just to run them in quickly. Ten newton meters. That's done. So I am seeing an issue over here, and I will show you that issue right now. There is transmission fluid pooling up right at the bottom of the transmission oil pump that I didn't notice before. While I'm in here, I want to replace the seal that goes around the oil, the transmission oil pump as well. So it's all of these bolts here, take it off. There's a big O-ring around the outside. So let's get into that. All right, so these are T27s. So I'm gonna be removing all of these. All right, so to get the front pump out, looks like I gotta take the pan back off, the mechatronics unit back out. So I'm just gonna run through that really quick. Aha! Uh -huh. So that seal is what is holding the front pump in. All right, so now that that seal is gone, I can take the whole front pump off. And there we go. So the only thing we're replacing here is the O-ring that's around the front pump. All right, now let's put the pump back in the transmission. So I'm going to lube up the O-ring with some transmission fluid. 
Now, this area here is going to go directly into where the pan is or the valve body. So I got the bolts all run in. Now I'm gonna to torque them to five and then ultimately 10. Wind the notch up and pop her in. is all right done now that we've got the transmission put back together we need to replace this leaking seal on the back of the engine this is a coolant passage seal it's this plate here up on top so first step is to remove the flex plate by these bolts here and then replace that seal while we're behind the flex plate and have the transmission out, I'm also going to be replacing the rear main seal, which is right behind here. So let's get into that. Looks like we've got nine 19 millimeters. Let's work it back and forth. There we are. All right, now that we've got the flex plate removed, we're gonna remove this plate here that's leaking. So, looks like about 14, 10 millimeters. All right, so I haven't drained any of the coolant. A ton is probably gonna come splashing out of here. So, let's see if we can catch some of it. So there's the new one. It's got a seal. So I am guessing no sealant. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the rear main seal. So you don't wanna pry where the tool is gonna nick the sealing surface of the block just pry against, you know, anything else on the block but the ceiling surface. There we go. So if you look on the back of this one, there is some silicone used in this area here and in that area there that kind of comes on to the bottom here. So we'll be doing that uh, with the new one as well. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up all the, the mating surfaces with parts cleaner. And then also I'll clean this off and then put oil back on it. This is the, the back of the crankshaft. I'm going to use a little bit of RTV right here and right there. There's where I put the silicone and right there. So I've just got a little bit of oil. Coat it on here without dropping any onto the gasket. You need to put this on with the sleeve on. That 
that's on and you put the face bolts on first snug them down put the bottom bolts on snug those down then torque the top then torque the bottom okay all of those are snug now we'll put in the bottom ones and we'll snug these up and then torque the face bolts let's torque it to ultimately 10 but i like to start with five so we'll do five newton meters first all right i think that's 10 on all of them all right and now let's go five on these and then we'll do 10. that is all torqued down now let's clean off the mating surface of this and we'll get that seal put back on all right so first i'm just gonna try and go with a plastic scraper All right, I'm gonna go back through with a metal razor blade now. Just be very careful if you do. You don't wanna nick the block. We'll wipe it with some brake clean. All right. The new plates got a seal integrated into it. Whereas the old one, you had to use RTV. So these bolts are also 10 Newton meters. Okay, so all the bolts are torqued down. Let's get the flex plate back on. There is a dowel pin here, so you can only put it on one way. Make sure the starter is out of the way. All right. Now I'll torque these down to 105 Newton meters. Okay. That's all of them. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. We got all of those transmission seals and solenoids replaced, as well as that rear main seal and coolant passage seal on the back of the engine. So thank you all for watching, and if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video.